Coming up. Let's do it. I want you to get excited about your life. Here we go, in 10. Stand by, camera 6. If it's happening now, we're going to deal with it now. Stand by, Dr. Phil. This is going to be a changing day in your life. I'm taking people with real problems and moving them in to the Dr. Phil house. I'm going to put you under a microscope. Need a camera here, need one here. I'm putting cameras everywhere to see what really happens behind closed doors. I am moving in with you. Hello, welcome to the Dr. Phil show. My name is Dr. Phil. In today's first segment, we ask a simple question. What is high school? And it's an important time in the student's life. Well, today we will be talking smack and answering these questions. More with a student from the Jersey Shore. She is currently a student at the very prestigious Lonesome Fairhaven Regional High School. Please welcome Connor McCann. Connor, pleasure having you here. Hello, Dr. Phil. Thank you for having me here. Before we begin, please, Connor, tell me something about yourself. Well, I currently live with my mom, dad, and younger brother. I was born in Morristown, New Jersey, and lived in Chester before moving to Fairhaven when I was two years old. We ended up moving down to the Jersey Shore because my mom also graduated from Artfish and always wanted my brother and I to have some of the same good experiences that she had. I attended Sickles and Millwood schools in Fairhaven. I've always been interested in all sports and enjoying spending time at the beach. Sounds like a nice life, Connor. So, t so tell me. What things do you actually do during your time at RFH besides studying? I played freshman football and was a member of the basketball team for four years. I was a member of the Key Club and also did some additional volunteer work as assistant coach for younger kids at camps and such. What lessons did you learn from being part of these teams or groups? One of the lessons I learned was that of determination. How so? I played basketball my freshman and sophomore year. Before my junior year, I was asked to be a manager by my coach. It was very hard not to be a player, but I knew I wanted to be part of something that was bigger than me. I don't know many high school students who would do this, but I was glad I did. Being on the team senior year was such a great honor, and I had a blast. Not only did we have the best record in the school's history, we were the short conference champions for the very first time. Now I know you don't know what that means, but my teammates, coaches, and I do. We were the underdog. With hard work and determination, we were the champions. Were there any other lessons you learned at high school? I learned about giving back through my involvement with the Artbitch Key Club. The Key Club is a group dedicated to volunteer activity and various community events. I also had the opportunity to work alongside my basketball teammates by helping those in our area impacted by Hurricane Sandy. It felt good to give to those who had so much less than I did. During high school, what were some obstacles that were hard to overcome? Honestly, I've been diagnosed with ADD since 5th grade. It's been difficult to focus on schoolwork, which has caused me to work harder than the most. There have been ups and downs during this time. When I don't put in the effort, my grades slip. When I do put in the effort, my grades are better, and I make honor roll. The lesson I learned is the consistent effort I have to put in to be better. This is a crucial thing for me when I go off to college. Do you believe RFH has prepared you for college? The courses I took were challenging, but helped me learn not only the subject, but also how to tackle the work. The time needed to be successful in and out of the classroom was substantial. I knew this is only a preview of the time I need to spend with my studies during my college years. I understand that you have been accepted to Quinnipiac University. First, let me offer my congratulations. Let me ask, why was QU the right choice for you? What stood out at QU that made you choose it? When I first arrived at the campus, I had a gut feeling this was the place for me. I had a chance to talk to the tour guide and walk the campus. The students there seemed enthusiastic and had a lot of school spirit. I was really impressed with some of the facilities there. A major factor in my decision was their growing business program. Also, being a huge hockey fan, it was cool to see that your team is one of the best in the country every year. Go Bobcats! Honor. To you, what does it mean to graduate? To me, graduating is a big step towards becoming an adult. In high school, my parents were there to remind me, push me, and guide me to success. Now that I'm making that transition into doing things on my own, I have to be self-sufficient in all aspects, like when to study, when to work out, when to play sports, when to hang out with my friends, when to do the laundry, etc. I have to learn to better 
balance my time so that I can get good grades and still enjoy the college experience. Here's the big question, Connor. Why do you think you should graduate high school? Based on my experience of the past four years, I think I have learned a great deal about myself, both my strengths and weaknesses. I think the lesson is determination which I can use to help me push through challenging times at college. I also learned how to best apply myself to my studies, and I know if I do this consistently, I should be successful. I can be my own worst enemy, but after four years at RPH, I think I have learned the skills to help me do my very best at Clinic Yet. Connor, thank you for coming here today and providing me some real honest answers. I really appreciate it. I wish you much success at QU, and maybe we will have you back in four years to talk about graduation from college. One thing at a time, Dr. Phil. One last question I have to ask. How did you get that black eye? Would you believe my own teammate Alex Geiger uploaded me in a pickup game? So how'd you get yours, Dr. Phil? Uh, my wife hit me with a frying pan. It wasn't pretty. Alrighty then, we'll be right back after this commercial break.